Hey everyone, welcome to Vlog Saturday. Every Saturday I want to upload a vlog video and this is just super informal, kind of just get to know me type things and yeah, so I have a lot of cool stuff um, in store for you guys, so check back on Saturdays. But um, this time, they're not always going to be about beauty, but this time it is just because this is um, predominantly a beauty channel. It kind of takes over my life beauty stuff but um for the most part i want to throw in a few unexpected um posts having hair issues today okay so first things first i have all of my empties that i have been saving in here and these are mostly fall products um that are empty so yeah let's get started first i want to share with you um my saddest empty is the uh, Marc Jacobs Dot perfume. Uh, yeah, it's empty. It's out. It smelled so good. Ugh, and I wore it all the time and now it is out. So I'm super sad about it. And Marc Jacobs Mark Jacob has the cutest packaging. This is meant to look like a butterfly or ladybug. I'm not too sure. Um, these kind of look like butterflies, but then it's red and I don't know. But um, it's super cute. So that's out, but not to worry. My husband bought me the new Marc Jacobs Honey, so I'm okay with that. Winter, I went through a lot of face masks and my sister-in-law bought me a few, so I just wanna share with you um, all the ones that I have, I have used. So um, she bought me this one uh, by Dr. Jart. It's the Pore Medic Pore Purifying Mask. It's serum infused to unclog, tighten, and tone. And this is probably my favorite favorite mask that I've used yet. I do have a few other ones that uh, I have, but um, this one has been a super good one because I struggle with large pores and this was amazing. When I took it off, I could see the difference. My pores were a little bit closed or um, less apparent and I had less pores. So um, I think that smaller ones were kind of like wiped out and then the larger ones were made smaller. So amazing okay and then i also put on this sephora uh ultra soothing fiber mask and um it says when your skin's about to give in one uh one solution and these are the ones that you uh both of these are the cloth masks that you take out of the package and they're like infused with all the stuff and then you put it on your skin and i usually leave it on for half an hour while i'm in the bath this is more for when your skin's kind of like going crazy on you and you're getting uh, problem areas everywhere and you just put this on and it kind of soothes that and it did do that but at the time when I put this on I um didn't really know that that's what it was for and I just put it on and I didn't really have that much problem areas but I did you know have nicer skin when I took it off but I wish I would have waited till when I had problem areas but my favorite Shiseido Pureness um this is a foaming face wash and I, this is like my absolute favorite i need to go back and get it it wasn't that expensive because i got it at marshall's or tj maxx it was only like 13 bucks there so super good a good steal and it's a super good product so if you have a tj maxx near you check out the pureness line it's super good and then i also went through a nail polish this is the acetone one i don't recommend getting these i bought this on accident i meant to get the non-acetone one but this has acetone and it does um, really weaken your nail your nails and it kind of um, make your makes your cuticles dry out so I don't recommend getting the acetone so yeah okay and then I got in my glam bag these little um, I just saved them all for some reason the proactive um, mark fading pads and um, you got four in your glam bag or i got four in my glam bag and this has has salicylic acid so um it's good for acne prone skin but i don't react well to salicylic acid so um i was kind of hesitant to, to try these they work pretty good i put them in a spots that i had and i did notice just a slight difference but um yeah i was pretty impressed with them but you kind of have to do it twice a day and since i only had four I, I did it just every night so um at the end of the four days i kind of did notice a difference but had i used them i think 
twice a day, I would have noticed a bigger difference. And then obviously um, with more um, use. And then I went through my eye makeup remover. This is by Neutrogena and it's um, a hydrating, it gently removes waterproof makeup. I got this because in the summer or last year, I was super into these. This was probably my third bottle that I got last year. This year I'm into um, using um, extra virgin olive oil so I didn't repurchase this but if I didn't wasn't using the extra virgin olive oil I would definitely repurchase this because it's not a pad and it's not um, you don't have to use it with cotton balls because I don't want to rub or tug on my eyes with anything and you literally just put this on your fingers rub it a little bit and then um, move it around your eyes and it removes every makeup that you have but it is only for the eyes so that's a super good one and then i just wanted to share i finished this um candle it was um lilac uh fresh lilac and i don't remember where i got this i think this is a target brand it's called pure clean and it had soy and i think i'm gonna keep the little bottle because it's super cute okay uh let's see what else do i have here i have a um body wash i was super into honey in fall i kind of not anymore but i was super into it and i bought this and i really did like it um i usually never buy body washes like the big ones like this i always buy little ones because i'm a very much like a month type of person and i get tired of scents really quickly but during probably all fall i was into honey the whole time so i decided to go ahead and get the big one of that and I liked it. <laughs> oh, another honey thing. This is by um, kind of a uh, Mexican brand. It's called Crema Nutritiva uh, Miel, which is honey. And it's a nourishing honey bee cream. And um, it is gone. Like, I had to like, like really dig it out of there. And it's gone. <sighs> Still smells like honey, which I really liked at the time. I still like it, but I'm not like super crazy into it like I was. I went through this little thing of Neutrogena makeup remover wipes. This was hydrating. I got these probably towards the, um, this is probably like a summer product because towards the end of fall, I bought the, um, some Chorus kind. They, they have pomegranate and I like them a lot more than these, but um, yeah, I wanted to keep that, I guess. Toothpaste, I don't know. I've never done a, a empties video, so I don't know what you guys want to see that's probably why there's like random things like toothpaste and nail polish remover i don't know anyway this is the toothpaste that i used um yeah okay um sunscreen i went through a lot of it um this is just the ending of last fall's sunscreen this one is um just a target brand i think i think i got it there or walmart i don't know um, this is SPF 50, pretty good. I um, went through a lot of suns. I go through a lot of sunscreen. This is the Walgreens one. It's a little stick one. Um, it's SPF 30, and I use that on my face because it was oil free. Okay, and then we just have a few more products left. Um, I got this free little gift sample that um, when I purchased my honey perfume. It's the Eternity Calvin Klein Eternity, and it's it's an okay scent. I wore this mostly at work, so it reminds me of work and I don't want to think about work right now. But um, um, this is the shower gel and like I said, um, I go through these smaller shower gels mostly. But um, yeah, it's an okay scent. It's it's okay. Um, okay, and then I went through this Michael Todd um, pumpkin facial. I showed you guys this in um, a video actually. This is perfect to buy in the fall because it smells like pumpkin and you know i like that and then i um went through a falsies mascara this is actually waterproof i got it in the summer so it's out and then i got this la in my last glam bag and i just used it up because i wanted to get over it and it had moroccan oil it says it doesn't smell good at all at all it smells really bad actually um and then when you put it on your face that smell kind of goes all over your face it smells like if you left a um a um towel out and it got that like 
musty water smell. This kind of smells like that. It just did not smell good at all to me. I went through this little um, H&M um, body butter. It's in, it had, or it was, Blood Orange was out, which I was super into in the summertime. And then these three products are the only makeup products that I have in here. And you tend to go through makeup products a lot less than um, like sun, uh, skin products just because they last a lot longer. But um, this e.l.f. High De Definition Shadow Base, it was pretty good. Um, it's like over now. Um, it was okay. I don't know. I got it free. Um, then I went through this Blistic Silk and Shine. Um, yeah, that's done. This was okay too. And then my finally my little um, uh, Benefit Ladies Choice little skincare or little lipsticks the small one is finally out this is such a good color and yeah so um those are my what i went through um this past month oh you know what i need to go ahead and add this in there it's the um the cella eyebrow defining gel this is finally out and let's see if i need to add anything else I probably need to dump this in here too. It's my e.l.f. brow kit. It just looks gunky, but I want to buy the pixie little stick before I do that. So I'm going to wait. And yeah, so those are all of my products that I went through. These are mainly older products um, that like, or, or kind of like last year's mainly. Um, a lot of fall products because you just kind of save all, all of those products mo mostly. Um, or because you go through those in the next season. So, yeah. Um, I am going to, um, hopefully you notice. Oh, also uh, my Mr. Tough Guy Super Manly uh, Lip Balm. This had honey in it too and I was super into it. It is out and the little thing looks kind of gross already. It was just with me everywhere. So, um, yeah, I think that's that's finally it. I can't feel like I keep pulling out something else. But yeah, that's it. So um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope that you like this. And I, if you want to see different like um, vlog videos or tags or whatever else, please let me know in the comments below. And I will try to do those um, for you guys. And look out for um, my blog. I have been uploading daily. Thank you, God. I have finally gotten into the habit of doing it. So thankfully... Um, I have started that and then next week I'm going to have a blog post every week and the following week too but um, after that I'm only going to, I'm not going to blog on Thursdays or Sundays. So those are kind of going to be my off days so yeah just FYI but either way check my blog every day. Hopefully you can check out my last post that I put yesterday. Um, it's my getting ready for Valentine's Day post. So um, there's a lot of interesting stuff there. But anyway, I will talk to you very soon. Bye.